Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing motion in one dimension and this is lecture number two. And uh, we are going to discuss in this lecture about uh, some very important and basic concept of motion in one dimension. And I hope you have already watched part one before watching this part two. In this lecture, uh, we are going to learn about some relationship between displacement and time and that can be converted in form of uh, equations and uh, about the uniform and non-uniform motion and also we will discuss about uh, uh, in case of uh, there is a change in motion then what will happen so let me start the first uh, very first uh, topic that is uh, what we had discussed uh, in the previous lecture that distance and displacement we are going to discuss about the graph of distance and displacement uh, with time. So, distance time graph uh, we can see here distance time graph. So, the topic is distance time graph, distance time graph, right? Distance time graph. And uh, in this uh, graph, we will learn about the distance and displacement. What is the relationship between them? So, as I said, uh, distance and displacement, uh, let us consider uh, two dimensional uh, motion in one dimension, you can say motion in two dimension, motion in three dimension. So, uh, I am considering here the distance in one dimension. What is one dimension? One dimension, let me uh, discuss first the motion in one dimension, two dimension and three dimension. What is that and how we can describe this? The motion of a particular body, whether it in one dimension or two dimension or three dimension. So dimensions of motion. So dimension means what? Dimension. Dimension means the number of variables. Variables. Dimension is the number of variable which represent the position of. Represent the position of a body with any reference point any reference point a reference point right so if there are two variables are required so there are three dimension along with that we can say there are four dimension even but they we will discuss three dimensions so dimensions are three type that is motion in one dimension first one is motion in one dimension motion in one dimension what is that motion in one dimension and then motion in two dimension motion in two dimension two dimension and motion in three dimension and the third one is motion in three dimension if the position of a particle is described in terms of only one variable, whether it is x or y, say position x is a function of time, x1, x is the position at time t1, t is a point where position of particle is x is equal to t1. So t1 is the time and position of particle is described in terms of one variable x that is say p. If position of particle is described in terms of x and y at time t1, then we can say this is position of particle motion in two dimension. And if position of particle x, y, z described at any time t1, then we can say uh, motion of particle is in three dimension. It means motion in one dimension can be described further. Let me describe here, right? motion in one dimension. Uh, the better way to describe it when a particle is moving particle is moving in a straight line in a straight line line then the motion of particle is motion of particle is called rectilinear, rectilinear motion particle is described 
attach motion in one direction motion in one direction one direction right for example if a, a ball is freely falling under gravity a ball freely falling under gravity under gravity it is said to be in one direction or a ball is dropped drop from certain height drop from a certain height certain height or a ball is rolling ball is rolling on surface in a straight line rolling in a surface in a straight line right a straight line all these motions are to describe all these motions there is only one variable is required to describe all of this type of motions type of motions only one variable one variable is required required right only one variable is required even a ball for example when a ball is thrown vertically upward vertically upward its motion is described with function of time function with function of time right and the position position and the position of ball from the earth surface earth surface is described by height of the ball height of the ball in successive interval of time interval of time so say ball is moving up and its position ball is send up thrown up and its position is described at after 1 second after 2 second and this is a ground level you can say this is a ground level right and in this one there is a ground and position at 1 second after 1 second after 2 second after 3 second you know so position after 1 second after 2 second this is 10 meters say this is 20 meter this is 30 meter like that so uh, even it exactly 9.8 and 19.6 Let me write the exact value. Uh, after one second, this is a nine point. This is a twenty meter per second. After two second, it was ten. After three second, it was zero. Say like this. So it can be possible. Or uh, if a ball is freely falling, then the speed will be nine point eight meter per second. So suppose if there is a after one second, the speed by which it is thrown. that was 39.2 at this say speed is 39.2 after that it is 29.4 and then it is 19.6 then 9.8 meter so height is decreasing successively so when time was zero the speed was 39.2 so we can have a table which can describe the position of particle uh, with different time and uh, 
that can be described as G. See, when time watch, ball is thrown with the speed of ball is thrown with the speed of say 39.2 meter per second. So position when time is time, let me write here time, time is zero. Zero, all the time never be zero. Remember this. But when we start counting, we can consider this is equal to zero. So when t is zero, time is just a start observing. Then speed watch 39.2 speed distance is zero. No? Distance is zero also. Zero. This is position. Position is zero. Now when time is one second, then distance from the height is 9.8 meter. 9.8 meter. When the speed is time is 2 centimeter, 2 second, then this is 19.6 meter above that surface. When time is 3 second, then this is 29.4. Right? And when time is 4 second, then speed is 39.2 meter. Right? This was the speed meter per second. The speed is decreasing and height is increasing. Here height is distance is zero. Here distance is just above the surface and that will be 9.8 meter. So similarly uh, like this. So height is position of particle is described in terms of only one variable x or height is described in terms of x. So x is equal to zero. Only one variable is described here. So that is considered to be motion in one dimension, right? Now again, motion in two dimension. So what about motion in two dimension? So motion in two dimension. In two dimension. What is that? Motion in two dimension. So when the position of particle, position of particle, of position of particle, moving particle is described, described in ref, reference of two perpendicular axis edge, perpendicular axis edge, right, such that at any instant of time, instant of time, its position is described, position is in terms of x, y, that is two variable, two variable, then motion of body is said to be motion of body is said to be said to be motion in two dimension motion in two dimension right. motion in two dimension for example uh, an insect crawling on a globe, globe, right? A boy is cycling, cycling on a circular path, right? A planet is Planet is revolving around, revolving around its star, etc. Its star, etc. All these are two dimension motion. Why? Because the position at any instant of time can be described with the help of two variables. Position at an instant of time can be described with the help of 
two variables. So let us see the position at this is say x axis. This one is called y axis, right? Y axis, x axis, y axis. This is called origin. And position at an instant of time, say here, the position of particle is described as x1, y1, and position at this point is described as x2, y2. Right? So in that case, the position is x1, y1, and x2, y2. Um, at an instant of time, let me uh, increase this one also. Now position at this point is x1, y1 and x2, y2, say this one, x and uh, at an instant of time x1, y1. So the position is described at an instant of time t1 is this, say the position is at an instant of time is this, this is the position and that one is coordinate which describe the position of the particle at an instant of time. So this is the position which is x and y. So here the position of particle is described in two dimensions along x axis and y axis. The position at an instant of time t1 is this and position at an instant of time t2 is this. So it is a position which can be described with the help of two variables. One is x coordinate, that distance of the position along x axis, that is x1, and the distance along uh, x axis, this is the position x2. This position along y axis is called y coordinate, so y2 and y1. So this point is x1, y2, x1, y1, and this point is x2, y2. Say p1, p2, or even you may write p and q. These are two different positions, respective positions. So here the position of particle is described in the with the help of two independent variable and therefore the motion is described in two dimensions. Since position is described, since position at any instant of time, any instant of time is described. with help of two independent variable dependent variable it is said to be it is said to be motion of particle is two dimensional is in two dimensions, right, okay. Now there is a third one that is called motion in three dimensions, motion in three dimensions, dimension. right, so motion in three dimensions, what is that? When position of similar like, when position of particle position of a body moving body is described with three independent variable three independent variable independent variable at an instant of time at any instant of time the motion is said to be motion of body body is said to be motion in three dimension said to be motion in three dimension three dimension right okay. for example when a kite is flying, kite is, kite is flying against a 
wind in a space. That motion is described with help of three variables or when a particle is moving in a space, the motion is described in motion in three dimension. Here there are three axis edge and all these three axis edge will describe the position of particle. Here motion is a particle is described in three axis. So position at any point of time can be described with help of x axis, y axis and z axis. Say this is x axis, this one is y axis and this one is z axis, right? So x, y and z three mutually perpendicular axis edge. This is z dash, this is x dash and this one is y dash. If position of any point is here, P, say x1, y1 and z1 and position here Q is x2, y2 and z2, right? Q, P is here. Then the position is described with help of three coordinate system. Three variables are there to describe the position of a particle. Since position of particle, particle is described, described in reference of a reference of three. Cartesian three mutually perpendicular axis edge mutually perpendicular axis edge in reference of three mutually perpendicular axis edge the motion is described as motion of three dimensions. I hope you got it right. Okay. So this is what the motion in one dimension, motion in two dimension and motion in three dimension. I hope you get the point. So it's time to discuss the position time graph of a particle, moving particle. So position time graph, position time graph, graph, position time graph of uh, particles. So here is, I can say, this is time axis, say, this is x axis, this is y axis x axis is called also time axis because it represents time here time is represented in this direction and position represented here in this direction along y axis so this is also called position axis position axis right so time axis and position axis position is described in terms of here time in terms of second and position in terms of meter meter in time in terms of second in second time in second time in second time right t in second in second right so if the graph is like this say the graph of a particle is like this then uh, with increasing time, there is a zero. Time is one, time is two, time is three second, time is four second, time is five second. But with each passing time, the position of distance, say this is x naught, and this is position will remain same. So this graph represents the body is in rest. The body is in rest because here body is in rest this is the position time graph and here this position time graph represent the body is in rest if the graph is like this say the position time graph is like this say this is time axis and uh, x axis that is time time axis time in second seconds and x position in meters meters right so position and time x in meters in 
meters right in that case what will happen uh, say the graph is like this it means what if i am writing this graph like this in that case this is y axis x axis so here when time is 1 time is 2 time is 3 time is 4 second then particle has some distance 5 meter say this is 10 meter this is 15 meter and this one is 20 meter so here in each one second the distance traveled by body is 5 meter in 2 seconds 10 meter and in 3 seconds 15 meter and in 4 seconds that is 20 meter so this is represent this graph represent the body has uniform motion uniform motion of body this is uniform motion why because the particle has traveled equal distances in equal interval of time we can see this graph and with the help of this graph we can uh, answer such question that since equal distances are traveled in equal interval of time so motion of the body is said to be uniform right here when time was 1 then time this is time right t and distance that is position position in meter in meter that is x right so time t in seconds seconds so after when t is 0 t is 0 position is 0 when t is 1 then 5 meter then 2 then 10 meter then 3 uh, when time is 3 then time is 3 then it is and then 4 4 then it is 15 and 20 so accordingly uh, the distance since the equal distance is covered since equal distance covered in equal interval of time equal interval of time here the motion is said to be uniform motion. the motion of body is said to be uniform motion so i can write here uniform motion uniform motion definition is what when a body travels in such a way in such a way that it covers equal distances in equal interval of time in equal interval of time interval of time then motion of body is said to be body is said to be said to be uniform motion uniform motion right uniform motion right so this motion is uniform motion then there is another term that is called non-uniform motion non-uniform motion right what is that when a body travels body travels an equal distance in equal interval of time an equal distance an equal distance in equal interval of time interval of time or equal distance in unequal interval of time unequal interval of time 
then motion of body is said to be non-uniform. Then motion of body is said to be is said to be non-uniform. Motion of body is said to be non-uniform. Right? So here is the graph of non-uniform motion graph of non-uniform motion like this is x-axis time axis this is y-axis position axis right now y-axis x in meter and uh, in meter and time in second in second and uh, the graph is like this position is increasing but not increasing with equal in equal interval of time. So this is a position or graph of body where in first second it will cover the less distance and as time increases the distance covered is increases. So here the body has an equal similar initially sometimes the body is for time it is in rest and increasing the distance unequal in an equal interval of time. So this is the graph of non-uniform motion. This can be described as graph of non-uniform motion. Uniform motion. This represents non-uniform motion. So hopefully you understood each and everything about the uniform and non-uniform motion. Motion in one dimension, motion in two dimension and motion in three dimension. What is that and why? It is said to be motion in one dimension, two dimension and three dimension respectively. So that's uh, all in this lecture. We will see you in the next lecture. Thank you very much for watching this. God bless you. Keep watching and uh, do subscribe our channel.